Hello, this is Joe Nimzura. I'm the person that teaches the cluster of courses for first semester at HCC's Plant City Nursing Campus. And I am working on setting up all the stuff so that it'll be ready to go for August 17th. One of the activities, uh, I've already released the courses so that people can browse around them and kind of get familiar with the lay of the land but if you just look at them and you are just aimlessly scrolling through them it wouldn't be unusual at all if panic ensued that's not the goal of course what we want to do is we want to be able to achieve our objectives which are a lot so what i've got here is I've got a system for, Canvas has a system for linking up your laptop with Canvas on it, it with your smartphone so that your smartphone will help you keep track of all the assignments. If I just go to the dashboard of the course and then I look at um, the list of assignments over here and then I click through it one of the things that will happen is you'll notice that there's a bunch of them there's many many assignments for this course and there's also quite a few for the other courses as well and if we just total them all up it's something like 40 or 50 little things that we have to do now we do have 15 weeks to accomplish all this stuff but um, if you're completely new to Canvas, you're probably wondering how the heck you can keep track of it all because there's an awful lot of things here. And one of the things that we do is we even use what we call the micro assignments to make sure that you're prepared for each class. And with the micro assignments, those are worth one tenth of a point each. So if we look at just one course and we scroll through the whole thing, it's a lot of work. And just, just, if it hasn't occurred to you, you have to keep track of it all. Isn't that amazing? But Canvas actually has some really great features that I appreciate, which you will learn to appreciate as well. And I'm going to talk about them right now. Now the next thing is, go back to your dashboard, or actually go the, so here's what you have to do first. Um, actually, if you go to, where is it? If you go to the assignments, everything that I'm about to tell you is to be found on this one little section that says, set up profile notifications and smartphone app and it has the description and it actually has text and then it actually has the link to some documents that you can do so I'm gonna go over it verbally and visually but then you can find the written description of how to do it elsewhere so we go to account and there will be a couple of things that you can do one is you might as well look at your profile your profile has, you know, your page and a little bit about you for a biography. Um, if you haven't done that, why not fill it out? We all want to know each other. Spending a lot of time virtually online, it's handy if we have the story of the person that makes them famous uh, as part of this. So you can edit your profile there, which we'll leave. But what I want to go next to is what's called settings. When you get to settings, you'll get to the settings page and it will have these things on here. And in the upper right hand corner, you will actually have something called ways to contact. And this is critical because this is the little linkage that makes it all happen. You can put in your email addresses and your phone. I already have mine there. I got my work email, which is HCCF fl.edu then I have my gmail but if you just click on email addresses 
then it'll give you this screen and you can type in your email address and get it there. And like by the same token, if you've got your phone number, I don't know what that does if I click that there, contact method, if we go into contact method, it will give you this screen so that you can put your phone number in there. When you do, it'll send a confirmation text to the phone to make sure that happens. It's critical for you to, this is for your peace of mind. If you want to achieve peace of mind while everyone around you is running around like crazy, this is one way to do it and uh, helps you feel superior. But anyway, so what we have is you get email addresses and phone contacts in there. Once you've done that, oh, you can also edit the settings. I'm happy with all those things. Once you've done that, you've set the settings. <coughs> so that's kind of step one. The next thing you're going to be doing is going back up to this page and looking for the notifications. When you get to the notifications, you'll get to a page that sort of looks like this. Mine is filled out, so um, maybe yours doesn't look like this, but it's going to give you a list of things here. First, we have options. Notify me right away, send daily summary, weekly, or nothing. And what you can do is, down here in each column, here's my work address, here's my Gmail, there's my mobile number, and I can decide which of those settings I want to have for each thing. Now the interesting part is I don't get immediate settings clicked on this right away and part of it is because I'm probably the one who sent the stuff. I don't need a reminder that I sent it back to me. Um, and so you can set them all. What I would do if I was you is make sure that you click on due date, announcements, grading, that kind of stuff. There's a minimum. I got it written down here. There's a minimum list of things that you should at least start off getting immediate notifications of. If you do that, then what will happen is the phone takes care of everything. Um, you get it so that if you have it on your phone and you have something due tomorrow, there's a place where you can check to see what the school mandated to-do list says for your um, activity or event. Is that not cool or what? Um, so that's the that's how you set the notifications and this is incredibly important because if you don't do this or you have trouble getting it you have to speak up and get help. The reason I want to make sure you do it in person is because if you do do this you'll meet the deadlines, you'll do great in the class. You just have to keep up with what the computer tells you to do next, which is sort of uh, scary in a uh, brave new world kind of way, but then this is where the state of the art here. And this is going to be your best friend in terms of setting up how to do this. So we've got, um, so what we did was we set the settings and then we set the notifications. Now, I'm actually filming this with my smartphone, so I can't tell you the part that you do with your smartphone. But here's the other key, which is, in order to make this truly work, what you have to do is you have to go to the um, smartphone, and here's a description of it, which is, uh, where are we at? Step on Canvas profile notifications. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what we have to do is we have to add the Canvas smartphone app. So in order to do that, what we're going to be doing is, and I've got the document there, it's going to come up on Word. In order to do that, what you've got to do is you go to the App Store for your phone. There is an iPhone version and there's an Android version. 
the iPhone version has more bells and whistles, but they're both really good in getting the basic stuff done. So what we do is you go to the App Store, look for Canvas Student. It's a free one. Uh, download it. And when you do, it'll, ask, it'll prompt you to ask for the name of your school. You type in your phone number, and it will send you a confirmation code, and you enter the code, and there you are. So that's the simple version of what you need to do. You're going to go to the laptop first, uh, change the settings, change the notifications, and then link it to the smartphone app. And uh, if you can do that, then you're going to find that you're in charge and in control of all the gazillion assignments that comprise the nursing curriculum now. Uh, one of the things that will happen is this will show up on your phone in addition to this. If you've used Canvas before, you've probably seen this. When you do all these other steps, what's going to happen is it will the to-do list will show up not just on your laptop, but on the phone. In the upper, on the dashboard page, in the upper right-hand corner, it says what's coming up and what recent feedback there is. And I happen to be recording this in mid-July, so we don't have any assignments because school doesn't start for another three weeks. But as school gets closer week by week, this will populate tasks from the computer for you to do and you can click on them at this location it'll go you to go you to the place where the directions for it are located and it'll help you figure out what to do then you can actually view your grade which we'll talk about later when we're in person so basically this is pretty slick now what I what's happening is I'm putting this up now on July 21st. If you're an early adopter and you can get it, please do it. If you have trouble and you need actual help doing it, one of the things we'll do on the first day of class is make sure that either myself or your peers assist you in getting this all organized. want to make sure you bring your computer and your phone so that we can do this. This is, there's a bunch of things that are really, they're so important that um, I will go around and I will look to make, confirm that you have all done this because we've invested basically thousands of dollars for the college to set up all this stuff. But if we don't actually train you how to do it, then why did we bother setting it up? And uh, it's really cool if you can get that way. I'm going to end this now, and I want to thank you, and when you do it, make a comment on the YouTube thing below. Catch you later.